Hey guys, John Trousdale with Power Auto Media here at PRI 2014. I'm in the MSD booth. I'm here with Eric Brock. Now, in the ignition world, a lot of people are trying to cram as many features as possible into one box. You guys are taking a different approach. Absolutely. Um, you know, when you when you start putting a lot of features into one box, there's some there's some advantages. I mean, it's one box does it all. The disadvantage is, is as time goes by and the customer um, grows or, or needs more product, you either sell them a box that has a lot of features he's not going to need, so it's really expensive, or they have to sell the box they have and buy another box in order to get the features they need. So what we did is we made a modular system to where you can buy a base system and it may work for you forever. As you progress, you need a boost control, you need a traction control, you need any number of, of modules, they just bolt on and you're ready to go. And this modular system is called the Power Grid System. Correct, correct. Um, and obviously the name kind of says it all. It's a power grid. I mean, you plug it in and, and, and grow the grid. Okay, Eric, so since this is a modular system, tell me about some of the modules. What are some of the options we have? You know, we've got modules as basic as just being able to change your rev limiter at the starting line for, for some of the bracket guys. Um, and from there they go up. I mean, we've got boost retards. Uh, we've got boost controllers. We've got really high boost controllers that have external sensors with a higher capability. Um, and then for some of the outlaw guys, we even have a traction control unit. Um, one of the newest modules we have we're pretty excited about is our power module. What that will do is that will actually drive up to 80 amps. Um, so you can turn on nitro solenoids, you can shift the car, um, you can do all that directly. You don't need a relay, you don't need additional fuses. Um, on top of that, you can, you can program how they, how they control. Uh, you can have them PWM, you can have them turn on by time, by RPM. Um, so there's a, there's a lot of options. I mean, we can pretty much handle any, anything that's thrown at us with this stuff. Tell me, tell me what are some of the, some of the options that this gives, gives guys out there? Well, I'll tell you. Um, let's, let's assume you had a, a, a blower car with a magneto and you wanted to put a timing control on it. Well. It, it, in the past, it's been somewhat expensive, and, and there wasn't a whole lot of features. Um, by being able to put the power grid on it, um, you know, you can pretty much do anything with ignition, anything with rev limiting. It's got a great data acquisition built in. Um, it will also plug in and communicate with race pack. Most guys have race pack nowadays, so on top of seeing your shock data and, and O2s and everything else, you can actually see ignition timing. Anything that the ignition's doing, you can see it on the race pack as well. What new capabilities are we getting by integrating the, the power grid system instead of one of your old boxes? Well, you know, if, if, you, if you tried to put a, an older, say, a Digital 7 on a Magneto, for example, um, I mean, you've got a, a Magneto system, and then you've got an $800 ignition that you're piggybacking on this thing. You're not using half the features. Um, by going this route, you buy a $400 controller. It does everything the Digital 7 will do and more, um, and it, it's half the price. That's great. Everything you need and nothing you don't with the new power grid system. Eric, tell me, if we want some more information on this, where can we go online to get the details? Uh, msdperformance.com. Um, anything you need there? All right, msdperformance.com.